jihale dati mangayo Yesu mwene yetani ya mbukula Ya mbosele zia no mulebe kwe Malako kayesu The affected matter turns green So we really don't have green jiggers Jiggers are white in matter they are white and they have white candent and each one each time we see anything else means there was maturity and then the life cycle ended with the dying inside the skin because chickens die under the skin they don't fall off like the mango worms or the butterfly. They are two different things in that um, while the mango worms are lover um, and they will fall off and um, burrow themselves back to the ground so that there will be a live but fly whereas the but fly doesn't have an egg sac with a lot of um, little eggs there but it's just one larva chigos are different in that they are actually an adult female with, a, with a, a, a big tummy, a big stomach called the sack with hundreds of eggs and these eggs keep on dropping but the mother doesn't drop out anymore she'll be inside and really After releasing all the eggs, she will then die there because her work is done, mission accomplished, environment contaminated with eggs and lives destroyed and blood sucked and torment caused. So it then rests after having brought all the pain and shame and tributation and stigma where there is not much um, knowledge and where people still believe in superstition so the jiga dies leaving behind a trail of problems But the butterfly falls out of the skin to complete the life cycle to become an adult. An adult fly. So it's a worm that then becomes a fly. It's like a caterpillar. Maybe I'm wrong. I think so. I'm not wrong. I'm right.
back. That is that green was because of the infection. And somebody trying to justify their own little thinking asks, and, and, and if God is there, why, why do we have so much suffering in the world?
if God is there and he is good then why is there such poverty and disease and pain and desperation and hopelessness in the world you, you live in Africa and you see a lot of suffering right from the elderly to young children <laughs> poverty and people wearing rags and people having uh, sicknesses and diseases that are even sometimes um, preventable and all these things are there and you see them every day and yet you still have the audacity of claiming that there is an all-powerful God. Why do you say that? And I've always answered that question and it keeps on coming again. The truth, the truth of the, truth of the matter is that God created this world and put in systems, divine systems, divine structures that exist to put things together and moving forward. And until he decides otherwise, this world will still be here. Human beings will come and human beings will go. But his word, meaning his degree, it will remain forever. The grass withers. And the flower fades. And they're put in the fire, but his words remain forever. And the truth is that we have good things and bad things. And God lets this happen because he wants us to be relevant. God wants us to live our purpose. We've been created for a purpose. Each one of us was created. And came down here with something in their hands and we have a lot of lapses because a lot of people are not living their purpose they're not using the gifting of God they were supposed to act and they were given the chance to operate but they have failed to do what they're supposed to do. We are alive today, just one example, and you really come across by accident or so. You think you discover that we have this bug called a jigger. And because you don't understand your purpose in life, it becomes entertainment to you. Come on, you begin entertaining yourself. Um, out of a bag that has suckled life and brought so much pain, and you find yourself feeling nice that <laughs> just watching this and then you you start thinking that um, your purpose is just to watch to look at the jigger being removed I differ with you a hundred and one plus percent there is a reason for your ability to have that computer and that internet and that health to sit up and watch this thing. 
and uh, in the divine arrangement of things you have something to do about this it cannot just be in vain and that is why when YouTube pulled out the ads I thought perhaps this is the time divinely appointed for people to take up this and make it people driven and people owned because there are a hundred thousand subscribers and just one thousand which is one percent just one percent of those people will enable the program to continue running non-stop just a thousand people who sign up to be patrons of five dollars monthly just five dollars every month you will save the organization from um, collapsing and then you begin now looking at the patrons from among the hundred thousand people you start looking for just one percent <laughs> it's just one percent and rise up society will live on without depending on YouTube and that one percent becomes a problem because because we don't realize really the reason some things happen and then we think that giving comes from the wallet or from the purse but truth is that giving doesn't come from the wallet it comes from the heart the heart that gives not the abundance not the wallet and the wallet has nothing to do with your giving the wallet has everything to do with your getting but giving is a different thing altogether and so I believe that uh, uh, we have a role and God has allowed these things to happen so that we can we can play a role we can be part of it so that we can sanitize the world we can clean it and make it good before we go back home because when we die and eventually we face the master because I believe in the day of judgment I also know that questions will be asked because in judgment it cannot just be a degree you cannot just be there and then you are told oh, well you have come I have sentenced you to now there will be some questions that will be asked and I believe some answers will be given and I believe that uh, these little things we do here today are some of the answers to the questions that will be asked on that day and so it's not just in vain never take it for granted that uh, you got to see a child with jiggers you have something a role in the whole arrangement you have something that needs to be done and you you and i <laughs> Oh